And staying with art, some of the finest Chinese woodblock paintings are on show in San Marino, California. Some of the woodblocks, which were created in China's Qing Dynasty, were used to give Europeans a first glimpse at elaborate Chinese gardens. The curator of this exhibition hopes to wow locals again with these elegant. Check it out. This is the completed page. Okay. And this is the calligraphy page that goes with that mm -hmm. page. June Lee has poured her heart and soul into curating this rare exhibit entitled Gardens, Art and Commerce in Chinese Woodblock Prints. This is uh, the earliest print represented in the exhibition. And it is not Ming, it is Northern Song, so it's 10th century. The exhibit at the Huntington Library in San Marino, California, bring the best examples of Chinese woodblock prints made during the Golden Age, from the late 16th to the 19th century. Some of the prints on display have never been seen by the public, like this Qing Dynasty scroll on loan from the Shanghai Museum. This is a, an incredibly uh, wonderful scroll Look that's about 80 feet long. <gasps> Originally, it was painted by the Qing court artist uh, Wang Yuanqi, very famous court artist. After it was painted, uh, the emperor Kangxi asked to have woodblock prints made of that painting. So wow. this was the result. Although China began woodblock printing more than a hundred years before Japan, Japanese prints gained much more recognition because of European traders. Eventually, in the 18th century, Chinese prints from Suzhou, a hub of woodblock printing, were exposed to the West. A lot of these prints uh, from Suzhou went to, got traded to Japan, to Nagasaki, and in Nagasaki, the Dutch were trading, and from there they took the prints to Europe. That exposure to Europe was reflected in later Chinese woodblock prints. European artists, too, tried their hand at the Chinese art form. Italian missionary to China, Matteo Ripa, was ordered by Emperor Kangxi to copy woodblock prints, but instead of woodblock, copper etchings. Was it well received? It was. The style? Uh, well, the emperor liked it he did. because okay. it was so different. Yeah. Uh, and then when Matteo Ripa took this back to Europe, uh, it gave people the first glimpse of a Chinese garden. That glimpse into Chinese gardens sparked Europe's love affair with China's various art forms. A French missionary and painter put it this way, everything is truly great and beautiful, both as to the design and the execution. The garden struck me the more because I had never seen anything that bore any manner of resemblance to them in any part of the world that I had been before. Mei Lee, CCTV, San Marino, California.